Hello everyone, this is Petrina Rain. coming back here in my channel and I would like to say thank you to uh, all of you to everyone who watched my previous video and I am so happy to receive a lot of comments and to know that you there's a lot of you guys who watch it so uh, it somehow encourages me to make more videos to make more educational videos to help everyone so uh, now guys we are going to make another video, uh, another sit down video, wherein I would give you some information that I know. And I would like to uh, tell everyone that the content of this video is based on the things that I know and the things that I experience. So I hope that my experience can help you guys that my experience would somehow um, encourage everyone to push hard and to um, to study more and reach your goals. So, at this moment, we are going to make a video that is entitled Where to Pass B2 in a Region Language Easily. So, in this video, guys, you will find out based on my experience on where did I pass the B2 easily. So I hope you guys would like this video. I hope you guys will continue watching this and let's move on. So a little story. I actually, when I first came here in Norway, I studied right away the language. So in the first three months here, I tried to I tried to take the language exam, which is uh, in Boxna Oplari. So I took the exam and I passed the B1. But then my goal is to pass the B2. And on my previous video, I hope that you guys watch it. I gave you also some of the tips in order to um, learn Norwegian language fast. So uh, I use those things for me to be able to uh, understand and learn it more. And then I took again the exam, uh, I think four months after, but then I was not able to pass the B2 because we know that in the Norwegian exam, it is actually um, speaking, listening, reading, and writing. So I was not able to pass the B2 of writing because in Voxel Platting, the standard of the B2 is really difficult. The standard of the B2 scriptly or writing is really difficult. So I think I took the exam three times, but still I was not able to uh, pass the B2 writing in the Vox no Blady. So I talked to my friends and I actually got some advice from them, some tips uh, on where to pass the B2 easily. So in this video, I'm going to share to you where did I pass the B2 in just the span of five months. So after five months, I already finish my B2. So to all of you guys who already have B1 in the region language and you needed the B2, this video is for you. So if you have B1 already, you can apply to this school where I pass B2 easily or we can say after five months. So here it is. The school we're in I passed the B2 easily is in university in Oslo. So in university in Oslo, I took one semester. Uh, in that semester, it's actually the course is actually um, for the B2 or what they call Trin Tre. Trin Tre. So 
uh, there you you will meet twice a week and you will also have uh, assignments and lessons that you need to go on through so I can say that in university and also I really learned a lot because I really like how they teach the students and how they gave us a lot of uh, assignments wherein it molded us to uh, to know more or to learn more than your regional language so if you want if you wanted to know about this course uh, you just have to type this on your search button uh, Nora 130 so you just have to type this and you will be leaded to the link of the school which is the University in Oslo so there you can also read what are the requirements and how much do you need to pay or how is the course about so in this video, I will tell you that the B2 or the Trintre course in uh, university in Oslo, you can take it in spring semester, in summer, and in autumn semester. So I took mine in spring semester. We started in January and then we finish it in May. So it is just the span of five months. So after five months, you can already, or you can already, you can already pass the B2. So the, when it comes to the fees, the tuition fee is actually um, a little bit big, but I can tell you guys that it's worth it. Because uh, as I've said, I took the B2 exam in Vox Non Law Operating uh, three times and I it cost me a lot of money also but then when you take it in university in Oslo uh, the money is worth it because the tuition fee is actually 15,800 kroner plus you will also pay the semesters aviv which is also cost 600 kroner so it may be a lot but I can tell you guys that it is really worth it for you to apply, there are actually some requirements. So the requirements that I have written here is, number one is you need to pass the B1 already or the Trin2. Because in the first day of school, they will ask you to present to them your um, privileges or like the certificate uh, that shows that you already passed the B1 because in order for you to enroll to this course you need to pass the B1 first before you can take the B2 course so and also in um, application to this course you also need your passport and then the, and then the next is you also need to send them your diploma and transcript of records uh, in high school and in college. So those things you need to send to them or you need to show to them. Um, I don't know during this time because uh, in my time last year when it comes to transcript of records, it needed to be passed or sent from your school to the school here so it's what they call school to school but i don't know what is the rules now because of we know that we are in a corona pandemic situation so they kind of change it so yeah so that's it that's actually the things that you just have you need that is just the b1 certificate showing that you already passed the b1 or train two and then your passport and then the diplomas and transcript of records so after that you can already apply but then if you wanted to pass the b2 just in a very very uh short time they also they also have what they call intensive course and this is during summer and that actually that is actually a full time it, i think it's like everyday class almost like in the weekdays but the semester class it is twice a week but in the summer class it is uh, almost every day but the summer class costs only 13,550 kroner so 
the summer class is much actually cheaper but me i took it on the spring semester because at the same time i also went to another school and at the same time i am working so that's why i took the spring semester so because it is just two 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 classes every week so i still have time to do other stuff so um for me if you will ask me um the money that I paid on the university in Oslo is really worth it. For me, I can say that the money I spent in the university in Oslo, it is, it's, it is really worth it. Because in university in Oslo, they have this character that the grading system is not like um, pass or fail. They have this grading system, which is from character A to the grade A, to F. So if you can get F, that is actually failed. But then uh, uh, you just, if you have the grades from A, B, C, and D, that is still considered as pass. Uh, it is just depends on where are you going to use your B2 um, pass or certificate. Because me, I use my I used my certificate in order for me to apply to nursing school and when you want to apply to nursing school you need to have a high grades so you need to have A or B grade in the university in Oslo of the B2 course so there I already said to you guys and where did I pass the, the B2 and again it is in university in Oslo and uh, it may cost a little bit, but it is really worth it. So I hope you guys will uh, continue in your goal. Just uh, work hard and study more. And I know one day you can reach your goals. Uh, I hope you guys like this video. I hope that you've learned something from this video. And again, this video is not against... Um, uh, political or like school politics or what this is just my own understanding my own experience and my own learnings that i am sharing to everyone so i hope that you like this video don't forget to click like on this video comment down below if you have some questions or suggestions that you want me to do or what videos that you want me to do and then of course don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't forget to share it to your friends so i hope you guys enjoy this video and i hope you guys will have a wonderful day and once again this is patrina Wayne. thank you very much everyone love you all thank you for coming